Hello, in the second video on the LDO design and simulation in SPICE uh, in Altium Designer uh, Simulator, the mixed signal simulator. Last time uh, we have concluded that there is a possibility to build an LDO with discrete components like I have uh, already on the screen. And in today's presentation, let's focus on the LDO dropout voltage. So the required dropout voltage between the input and the output. In this circuit, exactly in this circuit, which you can see on the screen. So what's the minimum input voltage to keep the output regulation stable? Uh, stable and regulated to a voltage set by R1 and R3. And how to detect that we, ha we are out of uh, regulation. And also I promise to check the performance of the LDO with uh, higher currents, because we have a quite powerful MOSFET here. So in this, oh, we, you can go even with with a stronger or more powerful MOSFET that I have here, uh, and 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 you can design your LDO. However, there is always a power loss limitation. So in some certain cases, you would rather use a DC to DC converter. But but just for an experiment, we can uh, we can have a play and we can see what happens. So let's change uh, the DC. Uh, reference voltage to a value uh, set in the first video in the beginning so that was 1.23 and now let's just run the simulation and see if we get the 3.628 volts at the output sure enough we are having the 3.628 there is an offset in the error amplifier uh, and that's why the voltage is not exactly the same as it should be. So now uh, we are having a 100 uh, milliamp of load current. Yes, uh, let's reduce the input voltage. Let's reduce the input voltage from 5 volts to 4 volts. And let's run the simulation again. You can easily also check the mm, required uh, LDO dropout voltage, so the difference required to keep the output stable. Uh, when you put a triangular wave uh, here uh, with a different type of voltage source. However, I will just go uh, trial and errors, okay? So uh, I just lowered the input voltage by a volt to 4 volts. And here on this plot, I can see the difference between the input and the output. So it's the voltage of V1 source, it's the VCC minus V out. V out is of course at the at the output. 3.6, uh, 36 ohms, so 100 milliamps. And do we have a regulation? How we can check this? First of all, we can check if the voltage is exactly the same as before, and it is. The second way is to see what the error amplifier does in this uh, operating point. As you can see, it's still it's not saturated. That's a good sign that we are we are having the regulation. And the output voltage is 682 millivolts. The LM358 can go down almost to like 40, 30 millivolt uh, volts when it's getting uh, when it's starting to saturate uh, from the negative rail, which is in this case the GND. Uh, however, it's dependent on the current that flows to the output stage. There is a a transistor at the output that uh, I don't exactly remember the structure. However, uh, the LM358, we can assume that if the voltage uh, at the output is about 100 millivolts or below, the regulation will start to suffer uh, because there will be not enough voltage drop across the source and the gate of the MOSFET. Because only then the op amp can close the loop. The error amplifier can close the loop when it has sufficient voltage developed on the gate, uh, gate to source of the Q1 of the PMOS transistor. So uh, to conclude, in this operating point at 100 milliamps, at the voltage drop of about uh, 300 uh, millivolts, 371, we are still in regulation. Let's reduce it even further. Uh, let's reduce it below or to 3.6. Let's see what happens. This is definitely uh, way too low because the output is set to be 3.62. So let's see what happens in this case. 
So the output voltage will not be as before in the same value as before. Now it's 3.54. As you can see, it's below the regulation, but there is no chance to keep the regulation uh, when the input voltage is lower than the output voltage set by the resistors. Of course, the voltage drop will be like RDS or N times the current, something in this area. So it's like 54 uh, millivolts. And and what else? Oh, the V drive. This is the most important thing. The V drive is 32 millivolts. So as you can see, the error amplifier actually saturated, saturated. So the imp, uh, the non uh, the inverting input and the non inverting input are no longer zero zero volts apart. They are now in different potentials, different voltages. The loop is not closed, and the V drive is uh, saturated to a negative rail, which is the GND. So that's, uh, in this case, there is no regulation. And by uh, tapping to a V drive signal, by um, having some comparator or even an NPN transistor, you can have a power good output in your circuit, just to verify if you are in regulation. So 3.6, of course, is way too low. Let's go 3.7, 3.7. Let's run the simulation again. 3.7. Let's measure. You can use the automatic measurements in, built, in, built into the Altium Designer. However, I'm, I'm not prepared to. I'm not prepared well, probably. <laughs> I'm not showing this uh, all the time. I need to click the cursor, but you can you can make it a, as automated measurements. At the moment, uh, when there is a 3.7 at the input, it's 3.6 uh, 3.6282. Uh, so we are we are in the regulation. Let's just see the V drive. Sure enough, 200 millivolts. So we can go a tiny bit down. Let's go 67. Let's run the simulation. And now we are on the edge. What's the because the drive V drive signal is as low as 81 millivolts and the output yes uh, it's no longer stable. So we let's just assume that for this circuit the required voltage drop is let's let's call it 60 okay just to have some margin here. Uh, I, okay, let's let's make it 3.7. Let's see if we are in the regulation or not. Yes, now we are definitely in regulation. Yes, exactly. And the voltage drop is 71 millivolts okay so this in this case uh yes uh, it's 70 because it's 3.7 minus the output voltage set by those two resistors fine let's reduce the load let's reduce the load to 3.6 to have one ampere at the output and probably in this case in this uh, input voltage we will not be able to uh, keep the output voltage stable as you can see not possible uh, we are even much below. Probably the V drive is saturated to 30 or something. Oh, 4 millivolts. So it's really saturate, saturated well. So there is no reason to continue with 3.7. Let's go directly to 4 volts. Because with the higher current, you need to take the V drive uh, even um, lower or to uh, develop enough voltage between the, mm, the the source and the gate. And when, when we have 3 volts here or 3.5 or even 4, we are also on the edge of the transistor itself. Okay, the maximum voltage is minus 4 volts. So when there is a 4 volt here and we are on the ground here, we are also on the edge of the transistor uh, and this uh, 4 volts in some of the transistor from a large batch can have only 250 microamps current from the drain so you need to take the v drive pretty low but let's see at 4 volts not uh, still not in the regulation I, I can see it already let's just measure how close we are now we are like 100 millivolts apart let's go 4.25 
4.25 and yes that's that's a regulation uh, that's the state when we can observe the regulation we have 369 millivolts and uh, a 600 millivolt drop so that's that's pretty good 600 so so the limitation here is probably the MOSFET itself. We can go, uh, I promise to reduce the load even further, but let's first of all, let's go 4.2. Let's take this 50 millivolts out of the input voltage. Let's see the V drive. Yes, V drive is still above, like uh, it's, we are still in the regulation. We are still in the regulation. We have 3.6282. Great. Uh, let's reduce the load. Let's reduce the load to 3.6, uh, 1.8, 2 amps. Let's just have it 2 amps. At 2 amps. No, of course, we are out of regulation. Probably we will need much more uh, a voltage drop uh, across the uh, source and the gate. The V-drive is ground, saturated to ground. Let's increase it to 4.5. Probably I will need to replace the transistor uh, with a different one to keep the regulation stable at two amps. Okay, uh, 3.6 to uh, 6 to 8, 1. This is, this is on the edge. This is on the edge. And the edge, uh, yes, this is on the edge 220. We are in regulation in this case. The V drive is 212 millivolts. So we are still having like a 100 millivolt margin from the V drive. So let's go 4.4. If, if this 100 millivolts makes a big difference. Now, Yes, so 80 millivolts. So this is definitely on the edge. Let's measure the output voltage. Yes, this is exactly like one of the cases described uh, like five minutes ago. The voltage drop is 784 millivolts. So to keep the regulation stable at two amperes of the output current, two amperes, we require 4.4 at the, at the input. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.